What's up guys, how you doing? I wanted to hop on here right now. I'm uh, working at a Starbucks today. Man, I when I first started my business, didn't have an office. I used to go from like Starbucks to Starbucks. It was funny because I'd go, every Starbucks that I went to, there'd be the same people at each of them working, running businesses. I used to joke and call them uh, the coffee shop millionaires. And um, till this day, when I go back to some of those Starbucks, I see some of the people that I haven't seen since that time. So one of the things I wanted to go over today, just quickly with you guys, is people hear the word hacking and I don't think they truly understand what that means. First off, hacking in a, as a whole, if you go online and you just search hacking, it's a bad thing, right? Like there's illegal things going on when you're hacking. Uh, people are like breaking into certain computers, doing things uh, they shouldn't be doing, right? Hacking, they call them uh, the black hat, white hat, gray hats, right? Like, and the whole idea is around these like really talented, tech guys being able to get past these firewalls and being able to go and look and see, you know, what they shouldn't be seeing and, and, and stealing data and doing all those fun things, right? Which is not so much fun. <laughs> it's not cool at all, actually. But what's happened is a lot of companies, a lot of people have, have taken like the word hacking and they're like doing a play on it, right? They're like saying, you know, you do funnel hacking, right? You do business hacking. You do any kind of hacking. The concept around that is you're looking to go through and see what they're doing, how they're going about running the business, how they're going about doing everything from soup to nuts, trying to find something that works. A lot of people think when I talk to them about like getting involved with online marketing, that they have to come out here and they have to figure out something brand new that has never been done before. That cannot be further from the truth. It's actually the opposite. You wanna find something that's already out there and is working. Now, there's ways that you can differentiate from what they're doing, but you wanna see something that's proven that it's working. I would never, ever, 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 ever get into a business if I couldn't find it online today with somebody doing it in some capacity of what I wanna do. If that's not happening today, I wouldn't do it, right? So. The first thing when you guys are trying to like get involved in a new business or, or do something new is to be able to find a business that's already out there doing what you're thinking about doing. And then what you wanna do is you wanna hack it. Now, you're not breaking into their database, you're not doing anything illegal. What you're doing is you're literally going through everything from their flows, signing up for their, their newsletter or subscribing to their list. If they're selling something, buy it see how they go about getting you the product, see how they handle it from the, the step of you going and, and capturing their credit card to when they say, okay, your order has been completed. What happens there? How do they handle it? Do they send you emails? Do they send you text messages? Uh, anybody following up calling you? When you're getting the product, what does it look like? How do they package it? Whatever that thing is that you're looking to do. If it's just an online business that has nothing to do with any physical products, well, then what are they doing? How are they communicating with you? How are they getting you there? What are the ads out in the marketplace? Everything you can possibly find. The idea is that you're gonna try to learn things that these companies have already been going through. They've gone through the tests and seen what's work and what's not. You see an ad that's been running for 245 days, there's a good chance that ad's working versus an ad that's two days old. You don't know if that's working or not, right? They could be testing it. But so there's little tells on the internet that will tell you if something's working or not that can help you and guide you. The one thing though that's really, really important, okay, that I think there's some confusion with is that some people will be like, oh yeah, I hacked that person. Their logo is here, so I did the logo. Their button's here, so I did that button here, but, 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 right? And, and they're, they're literally copying everything. Like you wouldn't know the difference between their page and the page that they hacked. Don't do that. That's not hacking. That's copying. That's not hacking. You got, you got to make it different. It's okay to model something. It's okay to do what they're doing. Anybody does that, right? You, you see Apple, right, with Androids. They, uh, they're, they're doing it all the time and all these other companies out in the world. These massive companies are doing it. And that's okay to do it. You should be doing it. But you got to make it your own, right? You got to, you got to differentiate in some way. You can't just copy. Never, ever, ever copy. So when you're hacking, what you're doing is you're trying to get the business model down. You're trying to get an idea of like all the things that they're doing 
that's going to help you with fast tracking your success. And then once you get going in the business, you're gonna see your own data. You're gonna see what's going on. That's just to get you like in position A. But once you start, you know, and you're seeing what's happening on your clicks and you're seeing the conversion rates and you're seeing how the consumers are responding, then you're gonna tweak the business, right? But the key is, and how you differentiate is that you gotta somehow make it your own. You gotta, you gotta niche down, right? You ever hear when they say uh, the, the red water and the blue water? The idea is like in the red water is where all the sharks are playing and it's just a place that's gonna be a challenge for you to compete because there's these massive sharks. There's just killers. There's so many successful companies targeting the same people versus in the blue waters, no sharks, no one's there. Now, it's a little tricky because you can go into a blue water and the reason why there's no sharks there is because there's nothing there to eat. So, you know, you gotta be really careful with that. Now, how you find the blue waters is you niche down. And by doing that, what it is, is you're ultimately targeting very specific audience and solving a very specific problem. A simple example of that would be like Weight Watchers. You can go and see exactly what Weight Watchers is doing how they run their business, what their model is, and you can go and you can try to hack it and then model it, right? But then what you can do is you can look for a very specific target audience that you want to speak to, that Weight Watchers isn't talking to. When you're able to find that, that audience, that target audience, and you're able to customize the messaging to them in a way where no one else is speaking to them the way you can and the way you are, then you're gonna knock the cover up the ball because people want to be heard. People want to feel like they're being understood. And a lot of these bigger companies out there, they're doing mass marketing. They're catering to everybody, right? And the beauty of that is that it, it presents an opportunity for us little guys to be able to take that exact same model, that exact same business, and just target it to somebody very specific that no one's talking to. And by doing that, then boom, you have a business. So just to be clear here, hacking, is not copying. You do not copy. You do not copy ever, okay? I wanna be really clear. You need to model it. And you wanna literally find a way to match a business that the model works with a target audience that you're gonna to cater to that nobody's servicing. And boom, you guys are in business. It's not that hard. When you figure out this, this model, right? It's, you don't have to sit here and be creative and, and, and do some crazy things. It's already happening, right? You just have to apply it the right way. So um, just a little little thing I was thinking about as I was driving here that I wanted to just bring up to everybody because I, I was talking to someone earlier and they were talking about hacking and the way they were describing it was not right. The way, what they were doing was not right. They were copying exactly. They didn't really understand the business. They just kind of just like took the pages and, and, and replicated them. And then that was it. And, and that's not hacking. So um, with that said, guys, I'm going to go and start my work day in Starbucks. Some guys from my team are meeting me here. We're going to try to replicate the coffee shop millionaire today. So uh, with that said, keep working hard, guys. Stay, stay focused. Stay positive. It can happen for you. Take it day by day, step by step, brick by brick. And uh, just take action, man. Don't procrastinate. Just do it. Take my shirt. Just do it better. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out. Talk to you soon.